My name is Dr. Ros Quinlivan. I work at the MRC Centre for Neuromuscular Diseases at uh, the National Hospital Queen Square. And I also do sessions at the Dubovitz Neuromuscular Centre at Great Ormond Street Hospital. I was appointed five years ago to my post, which was split between adult and paediatric services, uh, to facilitate the transition of care from children uh, attending the paediatric service to the adult neuromuscular service. And what struck me when I was first appointed were the gaps in the services for adults. Uh, in paediatrics, uh, care is very well coordinated by the neuromuscular team and it's much easier for patients to have all of the aspects of their care delivered on one day as an outpatient. This is much more difficult to achieve in the adult services and all what one sees are people having to attend multiple outpatient clinics, often in different hospitals, and the communication between these specialists isn't as good as it is in the paediatric uh, age range. So I think although multidisciplinary care may be occurring in the adult services, I think it's not as well coordinated as it should be. In order to try and improve the coordination of care of adults with Duchenne, as these are now a, quite a rapidly growing population of patients that we see, we need to start to standardise care across the UK. And the first step towards doing this is developing a network. Uh, and this is followed on from the paediatric North Star Network, which began, I don't know how long ago, maybe seven or eight years ago, but by developing that network, it improved the standard of care because everybody has to deliver the same standard of care. So we are developing a network of 15, 16 centres of adult specialists who are interested in improving care for adults with Duchenne. We hope to collect the same outcome measures for the patients we see in the clinic and that includes all aspects of care. So that includes heart, lungs, uh, the bowel, bladder and all of the therapy services that are involved. So physiotherapy, occupational therapy, dietetics and so on. By collecting data into a standard outcome form we will hopefully uh, acquire a good level of knowledge of what's happening to the adult Duchenne population. This will give us natural history data, but by default it's going to improve the services that patients get because every centre they go to is going to have to complete uh, the data collection in the same way.